All right, Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the Akim who are teaching the word of sincerity and truth, and blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved, man. Now, the last video I did is about, you know, the enemies of our nation, you know, especially with the stuff that's going on in our homeland, all right? Now, in this one, I'm trying to make a, you know, make a clear distinction because the Ishmaelites are the Arabs and they're the ones right now that are getting pummeled by Esau's war machine, all right? And we know that um, the Lord uses Esau to punish us and other nations. The wicked is thy sword. All right. But we're going to try and get a distinction here because there's sadly, it's a lot of our people that are into Islam. My family as well, you know, and uh, it's nothing but the truth, basically. You know what I mean? And uh, we have to, there's a distinction. All right. We are from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Isaac got the promise. All right, so we're going to go through a few scriptures to um, to edify uh, you brothers and uh, the few sisters, you know, that are locked into this truth, man. You know, because at the end of the day, all right, at the end of the day, the times that we're in is uh, it's not playtime. I did a video of that last year. I said, Playtime is over. That was the title of the video. You know? All right. I remember um, Ishmael, yeah, he was Abraham's son, but Isaac bared the promise, man. All right. And we're going to go into that. All right. And uh, this is Genesis 16 and 10. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly. That it shall be, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. All right. Verse eleven. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child. And remember, um, both um, Abraham was way up in age. All right, way up in age. Sarah was way, was was way up in age, etc. etc. You know, but he had a uh, uh, another woman called Hagar, you know, right? And that's where Ishmael came from. All right, yeah, he was Abraham's seed, but came from this woman Hagar. All right, behold, thou art with child, and bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Ishmael. All right, because the Lord have heard thy affliction. All right. Uh, Genesis 16 and 12 and he will be a wild man <laughs> his hand will be against every man and every man's hand against him all right but then it says and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren all right and Ishmael shall be a wild man. Now let's go to the Bible blue there and look at that word wild man. Alright. And we're going to show you that they are wild man. Alright. Alright. Let's put the word wild here. Alright, play it. Strong's H6501. Pere. 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 Second entry. Pere. 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 All right. And then it says like a wild ass. <laughs> and what is an ass? Well, what is an ass? It's a donkey, man. And donkeys are wild. So the children of Ishmael will be a wild people, man. All right. Now... It said it said a wild ass, and it and it said that for a reason because donkeys, they're wild, man. They're very hard to control. All right. These words 
traditionally used to protect other livestock from wild dogs and wolves due to their no-nonsense approach to self-defense and deadly two-hoof kicks. Yeah, man. On some ranches in the United States, they still serve as sentinels against coyotes. Have you ever seen a donkey deal with a hyena? Yep. If you want to witness some real donkey attitude, keep watching. As we there you go, man. They're wild. Like a donkey's ass, man. That's why that's in that's why that's in the scriptures. Now let's show uh uh some evidence of them being wild, man. Alright. Okay. And they and and um and also remember in Psalms 83, they're the enemies of our nation, man. And they had a big hand in destroying our people, man. Alright. And let's look at the Ishmaelites. finally been lifted and people can enjoy themselves like they used to years ago still everyone knows it's not a hundred percent safe islamic state self-styled marked the lifting of the curfew with suicide bombings <laughs> but the police are getting better at stopping them and this is a suicide bomber just captured See? And you have to be a wild idiot to blow yourself up in the name of your God, man. Just a boy, hopeless and vulnerable. IS showed him how to wear an explosive vest with his thumb on the trigger. They promised me I'd go straight to heaven, he says. The majority of recruits are like me or younger. We don't need to see no more. See, that's that's that's, that's an example of them being wild, man. You know, like a wild ass, man. Like a wild donkey, man. They'll they'll they'll, they'll ravage you. They'll kill themselves. <laughs> they'll kill themselves just to kill you. All right. <clears throat> and we're not saying that all of them are like that. Cause, you know what I mean? But they're wild, man. Okay. They'll save the scriptures. All right. So we have to point these things out to you, man. All right. And you have to understand that there's uh, the promises with us, man. All right. Uh, let's see now. All right. This is Genesis uh, 17 and 15. All right. And God said unto Abraham, as, as Sarai... Thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, all right, but Sarah, her name shall be, all right, because uh, the word Sarai means, um, what's it called, uh, in, like in Hebrew, it's like my princess, but instead Sarah means she's a princess, and why did the Lord change it? Why did the Lord change the name, just like how... Uh, um, the Lord changed uh, Jacob's name to Israel. Alright. Why did the Lord change it? Alright. Verse 16. And I will bless her. And give her. Give thee a son also of her. Ye I will bless her. And she will be a mother of nations. Kings of people. Shall be of her. All right, kings of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed. Because remember, he was way up in age. Same with her. All right. And said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah, that is ninety years old, bear? All right. And Abraham said unto God, 
Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. All right. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. So the covenant is with who? Is with Isaac. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not Ishmael, man. You know? The Lord said he will, uh, uh, Ishmael will be what? A great nation, man. You know? He said it will be, um, Yeah, he'll be a great he'll, 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 he'll be a great nation all right and when it means great nation it means in number all right genesis 17 and 20 and as for ishmael i've heard thee behold i have blessed him i will make him fruitful fruitful means what more kids man and i'll multiply him exceedingly 12 princes shall beget he I will make him a great nation. All right. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time next year. So Ishmael is a great nation, great in number. And if you look at the map, all right, of these Arabs, all right, if you look at the, the map, you've got Ishmaelites in Mauritania. The Western Sahara, Morocco, Algeria, um, Libya, Egypt, some in Sudan. And they're killing um, the Hamites down there, man. You know, because a lot of them are racist. You know, all right. Especially because the war's there and they're killing the South Sudanese who are um, the ancient Egyptians, the children of Mizraim. All right. So there's... Arab, 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 Arabs. There's some Arabs in Chad. There's still there's some Arabs in Niger. The former, the president that they did a coup against. He was an Arab man, man. All right. There's Arabs in Egypt. So this is a great nation. Arabs in Saudi Arabia. Arabs in Yemen. Arabs in, in Oman. Uh, UAE, Kuwait, Jordan. In our homeland, Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq. And you have some Arabs in Iran as well. All right. Mainly they're mainly they're 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 Elamites, man. All right. The the majority of them, but you do have some Arabs there as well. Okay. So they are a great nation, great nation in number, man. Okay. And I'm gonna keep this map up. All right. Because we're gonna come back to it. All right. And um, as I showed in the last one, all right, we know about the Arab slave trade, okay? We know about the Arab slave trade, and I did show that, all right? And the Lord said that that, 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 that will happen to us. Now, there's some videos on it, but I want to click on this one. I'm sorry for the ad that's come up. Discord Nitro and some games and gift cards too. Okay. Shop on salad and turn your PC power. That's why this business of uh, what's going on in our homeland, all right? You have no business going to any marches to protest for these people, all right? Yes, in, in Palestine, in, in, in the Gaza Strip in particular, all right? Our people are there, many, many of our people are there, and they face a lot of ridicule and a lot of hardship. Not as much as in Lebanon or in Jordan or you know in saudi arabia oh my god and uh this is a, a good example and i'm gonna put the link in the description box but we're gonna watch some of it all right this is what the arabs think of you israelites that into islam man racist and it needs to stop these are two pictures of arab celebrities who decided to wade into the black lives matter conversation in the worst way possible by painting their faces black i know what on the left we have maria hussein uh, and she looked and, right. and and by the way she looked better as a black woman man 
All right, she look, she look better then. You know, and that's and that's why we're gonna round you up, man. These are two pictures of Arab celebrities who decided to wade into the Black Lives Matter conversation in the worst way possible by painting their faces black. I know. What? <laughs> on the left, we have Maria Hossein, a Moroccan actress. On the right, Tanya Saleh, a Lebanese singer. See? But beyond being an extremely tone deaf and blatantly offensive gesture, which in no way helps the situation. It actually speaks to two very long traditions in Arabic society, blackface and anti-blackness. While the history of blackface stems primarily from the 19th century United States, where minstrel shows depicted grotesque portrayals of black people for entertainment, a time where black actors were also not allowed to perform on stage, the practice never truly died out. Nowadays, we often hear about it when a public figure or celebrity is caught doing it. But in Arabic media, this practice not only remains unchallenged, See, it upsets her, man. All right. And it goes back to this, their religion. And these people were Israelites, man. All right. They were Bantu speaking uh, tribes. And Bantu is a form of uh, uh, ancient Hebrew. Now, even Gaddafi, before he died, all right, he apologized for the Arabs' role in, slave, in, in slavery. Africans for the role Arabs and North Africans played in promoting and facilitating the slave trade. And uh, we See? See how uncomfortable they look? Unfortunately, in the wake of the current civil war in Libya, a slave market has re-emerged, and most of its victims are young African migrants trying to make their way to Europe. Today, many also draw parallels between slavery and the kafala system popular in places like Lebanon and yep. the North, where millions of migrant workers are stripped of their passports and their employment rights left to the mercy of their employers. So while it's easy to empathize with the struggles... And by the way, it's brutal. That kafala system is brutal, man. An Ethiopian house worker was, was thrown out of the, a building by um, the family that she look, worked for because they're dark, you see. They're Hamites, man. And some of them are Israelites. All right, as it says in Isaiah 11, 11. All right. So this madness of actually... Thinking that you're, you know, 
your, your, your Muslim brothers. Well, they're, they're Ishmaelites and they have a history of um, enslaving our people, man. And we say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and we mean it, man, because without this, well, you know, without, you know, from other buildings on down, without that, we wouldn't have this knowledge, man. I'm telling you, you know, when we make these videos, it ain't from, it, this knowledge is not from us, this has been passed down. It's like a, a holy family tree, man. Abba Bibbins, who was Elijah, you know, High Priest Ariel, the Apostles of Great Millstone, onto us. All right. Okay. So this is Genesis 37 and 28, and this is about the story of Joseph being sold. All right. All right. So Joseph was in the pit, right? You know. Then there passed the Midianites, merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph, you know, to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. Okay? But the main thing is Ishmaelites, man. And who are they? The Arabs. So, so, so they've had a, and, and, and that was before, way before Yahweh Shah was on the scene. So they have a history of, 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 of being slave traders and they're still doing it now. It's the tradition, you see? So because we're under these curses, all right, that's why most of those so-called Africans, all right, most of those so-called Africans that, um, that are over there in the slave markets in Libya are actually Israelites, man, all right? Now, there's a man called, uh, and, um, and I'm going to put, there's a link, I'm going to put a link in the description box, hopefully I can put it a playlist of the truth concerning Islam because Islam became from us in the Middle Ages, man. All right, it was wicked Roman Catholic monks, mainly uh, uh, this um, Augustine monk. What's his name? Saint Augustine. All right, and this man, Alberto Rivera, who I think is an Israelite from the Northern Kingdom, who was into Roman Catholicism. All right. He was, uh, uh, um, you know, in, in the Roman Catholic Church <laughs> and basically uh, a Jesuit um, told him that they, the Roman Catholics can, um, made Islam and we know that the Roman Catholic Church came from us. And this is one of his books, The Prophet. All right. Now, I'll put a link in the description box. All right. Because um, we have that on, um, on um, uh, 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 one of the eldest channels about the truth concerning Islam, all right? But that's your reference point. And that's why Islam has the call to prayer, you know? They have a call to prayer, and the Catholics have a Gregorian call to prayer, you know? If you look at a, a, a Muslim woman dressed, you know, with the headscarf and all that stuff, a Roman Catholic uh, nun looks exactly the same, eh? you know? And in the Roman Catholic Church, they, they bow down on their knees. All right, they bow down on their knees, man. Okay, so you can look that up for yourself. All right, but it was, it was prophecy that our people would, would be worshiping other gods. All right, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord will scatter thee among all people, and he scattered us in the Arab world, and, and they're not respecting us at all. Our people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Now, wood is what? Christianity. How do you know a Christian church? It's got a cross. And that stone is what? The carbon stone in Mecca, man. All right. There you go. There's a still here. Do, uh, and uh, whoever made this, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Christianity, the wood. And Islam, the Kaaba stone. So they're other gods. All right. And that's why the world is in chaos. Because half of the world, the majority of the world says they're Christian. And then the other half of the world says they're Muslim. And then you've got other religious beliefs. But they're still killing each other like animals, man. You know? Same with them um, people over there in our homeland. They, they spit on their own people that were actually Christian. You know? The Orthodox, they're, they're walking and they're spitting on them, man. Alright, 
So that's other God, other, that's, that's another God that you're worshipping, man. All right. This is Habakkuk 2 and 19. Woe well unto him that saith to the wood, <laughs> awake to the dumb stone, arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath, no breath at all in the midst of it. There's no Holy Spirit, which is the truth of this Bible. All right. The spirit of Yahweh Shem Yashai is not in those two religions. And you can see by the behavior. And I was one of them. I was a Christian, man. And I'm telling you, as a Christian, I was a psychopath. <laughs> I was a psychopath, man. I was, man. Especially with women, man. When it turned wrong with women. I remember this woman. She was an Israelite woman. Black dad, white mom. And um, it, didn't, it didn't work out. And I really liked her, man. She was older than me. She even had a child. And I, I, didn't, I didn't care. And it didn't work out. And, that, and as I was a Christian, I was sending her like 20 texts, man. Saying that she's this and she's that and the other. And I feel ashamed of that now. But there was no breath in that religion. And I, and I tried. I tried to look for the truth, man. And I, I thank the Lord that the Lord revealed this truth to me. All right. All right. And if their God is so great, well, why can't they... Why do they need to um, do suicide bombs and stuff like that? You know? And I'm telling you, I live in an area with a lot of Muslims. They're much more, um, what's the word? They're much more devout than Christians. Because Christianity has been watered down so much. They're both garbage. But I'm telling you, man, the actual uh, um, the Muslims around here, they take their religion very seriously. The Christians don't because they... they they don't even believe that there's laws to even follow. They think the law's done away with. All right. <clears throat> so the law doesn't deal with anything else. <clears throat> and unfortunately, as I said, uh, Alberto Rivera revealed, you know, which I knew that Islam was made by uh, our people in the Middle Ages who made the Roman Catholic Church. All right. And uh, I'll put the videos, the link of the videos in the description box as a playlist. For those that really want to learn. And I'm telling you, it's worth watching, man. It's worth watching. Or just Google Catholic Rome's Invention of Islam. And put it on YouTube and see and, and see the videos. Alright, it's the Psalms 147 and 19. Alright, he showeth his word unto Jacob. Alright, his statues and judgments unto Israel. Alright, that's the Lord, man. Alright, he have not dealt so... With any nation. Alright. And as for his judgments. They have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So their prophet Muhammad was a, a, an Ishmaelite man. Alright. So the Lord says he doesn't do with any other nation. Other than the Israelites. Alright. So are you going to believe them? Or are you going to believe the Lord? The scriptures. Which is the Lord's word man. Alright. You know. Hear the word at my mouth, give them warning from me. The word of the uh, the mouth of the Lord is the Bible. Okay? The Lord doesn't deal with anyone else. Other than us, man. And that's why he's been spanking us and he's been using them to do it. And that's the reason why now, alright, they're talking about all those people are dying. You know? And they're saying it, it, innocent civilians are dying over there in our homeland, this, that, and the other. They're not innocent, man. As I said, you know, we know about reincarnation, right? Okay? And they treat our people very badly, man. You know? In the Arab world, it, and even there's a video on YouTube, I should have got it. The Arab guy said, listen, we will have sex with black women, but we will never marry them. That's what he said, man. And he didn't say it in an evil way. He was just saying, this is how the culture is. They'll freak off with you black women, but they'll never marry you, man. All right? So what's going on there? The Lord is doing that, man. All right. Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, be an innocent. Or where were the righteous cut off? And that Arab slave trade only ended. It was, I think the last place was Mauritania. All right. Mauritania was the last place, which is this place. 
that was the last place to outlaw slavery, man. And that was like 20 years ago. So fuck that, man. All right. The Lord is doing what he wants to do. The wicked is his sword, man. All right. And if you don't like that, believe me, there's more coming because this is, this is going to be a third world war, man. All right. And the third world war is the war to end all wars. And there's many scriptures in it. We're going to, going to go into this and then we're going to close. I don't want to make it too long. I'm sorry if I've gone too long. All right, this is Job chapter 3 verse 1. For behold in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. That's the northern and the southern kingdom. All right. All right. I will also gather all nations. So all the other heathen nations. And including you stupid blacks that are in the army, man. You blacks that are in the army fighting for your country that never fought for you. Dummies, man. You can go there, man. And get your face melted off, man. Alright? Like Apostle Kabbalah said in that video, man. You know? The Jake soldier that had his legs cut off. You know? Going, for, going to the white man's war. You know? Dummies, man. And bring... I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, all right, and will plead with them for my people and for my heritage Israel. See, so it was Israel, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have parted the land, man, huh? all right. You've got the Gaza Strip, you've got the West Bank, this, that, and the other. They parted the land, but I... <laughs> You know, now if you look at the word, um, where's the valley of Jehoshaphat? Now, if you go to that scripture in the Bible, Blue Law, remember that scripture, Joel 3 and 2. All right, now I've put it in there and I've put the bit where it says Jehoshaphat, and it'll say Jehoshaphat. Is it Strong's H? Jehoshaphat. 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 Yoshafat, and it means what? Jehovah's, Jehovah has judged. Really, Yahweh has judged. That's where the Lord is going to judge all the nations that have um, uh, uh, dealt so wickedly with us. And you saw uh, an example of that in the video I just did. I just showed you, man. Okay. Now, where is that valley, man? And guess what? That valley is 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 near our homeland. Not exactly, all right. Because Jerusalem is the mother of us all. That's our homeland, but it's quite near there. All right. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, I got that was another one. I see. So it's not too far from Jerusalem. There is Jehoshaphat. But now, in modern day terms, all right, they've renamed it and they've renamed it Kidron. All right, and uh, hang on, there it is, and it's, never, and it's a valley, man. So it's a lowland. It's got some water there. There you go, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. So this is near our homeland, man. You know, this is this is near Jerusalem. All right, <coughs> but it's it's in the so-called state of Israel. So. You see what's going on there now, all right? All the bombings, I mean, today, no, I think it was yesterday, they they bombed the hospital and they're saying that some other group did it, this, that, and the other. I mean, if you want to believe Satan, you go ahead, man. He's a liar, man, you know? I mean, to bomb a hospital, but that's the Lord's sword, man. And all these nations have done us dirty and still do, doing us dirty, as you saw in that clip. All right, so this is where the Lord is going to judge all the nations that have dealt wrongly with us. All right, so the the Third World War is mainly going to be in in this area. All right, and um, hang on, wait, there's a little bit more here. All right, all right, and they have Joel three and three, and they have cast lots for my people. What is a lot? An auction. All right, they sold us, man. And given a boy for a harlot. And that was mainly this, this, this devil, man. 
Because in um, America, they had sex farms for paedophiles. And our boys were hot commodity. Go and look it up. There's a good film called Goodbye Uncle Tom. You can see it free on YouTube. And sold a girl for wine that they might drink. And did not the British, and um, mainly the British, but other nations, gave the Hamites, who were rounding us up, whiskey. You see it in that film, The Woman King. You know, the woman's walking with the young girl and she goes, try this. And she spits it out and she goes, eh, over there, the white man calls it whiskey. You see, because the Agoji warriors were Hamites and they were brutalizing Israelites, man. All right. <coughs> That's why that fucking film is so wicked, man. Because it's making out like they turned and uh, said, bring this slave to the ground. No, they didn't, man. They didn't. They did it. But even when the slave trade finished, they still kept doing it, man. All right? So that's why that continent of Africa is in turmoil. Because all that's... Remember, 70 AD, we fled Israel and we fled into um, northern... Uh, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Northern Africa. And that's one of the ways how our people started this Islam stuff, man. You know, they knew that there was loads of Israelites even before 70 AD in Alexandria, Egypt and place like that. Tried to, they tried to convert them to Roman Catholicism. But a lot of our people weren't having it, man. You know, then they started on, 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 on these Arabs as a ploy to get our homeland back. That's why that, that, that video that I'll put in the link in the description box, Truth Concerning Islam by the, um, uh, the Apostles of Great Millstone, it's worth watching, man. It really is. Alright, they have cast lots for my people and given a boy for a harlot and so the girl for my drink. Alright, and verse 4, Yea, what have you do? What have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? <laughs> Palestine, will you render me a recompense, where you're going to pay the Lord back? If ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, Will I return your recompense upon your own head? And that's right. Now, where is Tyre and Zidon? Tyre and Zidon is, is basic, basically, in, more or less, near our homeland, man. All right? Which is today Lebanon, man. All right? There you go. Now, back then, it was um, Hamite nations there. All right? But who's there now? Arabs, man. Ishmael, man. And they're treating our people very badly. And sadly, they you know, well, well, not that I care. They're treating the Hamites badly as well. Because a lot of Ethiopians are there, you know. And some of them are our people. All right. Okay. All right, verse 5. Because you have taken my silver and gold and carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things. Which is us, man. All right. We are the ones, we're the precious ones to the Lord. The children of also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, the northern and southern kingdom, have you sold unto the Grecians? Who are the Grecians, man? All right. Who are the Grecians? Edomites, man. You know, they had a, a, a Greek empire and so forth, etc. But originally, the the original inhabitants of Europe were the people of Japheth, man. And uh, under the Greek empire, they took them out. They forced them out. That ye might remove them far from their borders. From their border. And they did. You know. The, uh, verse 37. F um, verse 7. Joel 3 and 7. Behold I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them. Which is mainly America. Alright. Because that's where they made me out of slave auctions. And return your recompense upon your own head. Alright. And I will sell your sons. Verse 8, I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah, man. All right. So that's what's going to happen, man. All right. <laughs> they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken it. All right. So basically, in the kingdom, all right, when your house comes back, all right, we know that we're going to have World War Three, And in the midst of that third world war, all right, which is going to be... <clears throat> mainly commencing around this area in our homeland in the Middle East all right we know 
we know that uh, uh, mainly it's going to be around this area, right? All right, but this is all going to be an absolute mess because all these different nations are going to be fighting each other. All right, all right. Iran is going to fight Saudi Arabia, their enemies, so forth. You know, I think Iraq and Syria are going to be with Iran. You know, uh, Yemen is going to be with Iran. You know. UAE probably be with Saudi Arabia. They're gonna be fighting each other, all right. And others and other nations are gonna be there. Edomite nations, whatever, all right. They're gonna be there. And then when the Yahusha and chariots come, they're gonna stop fighting each other and they're gonna try and fight him, you know. But they're not gonna. <laughs> Is it, there's no point in them doing that, man. All right, all right. The Lord's the Lord's gonna destroy a whole world armies in one hour, man. All right, and America's gonna get nuked as well. Okay, so just stay focused on the prize, man. All right, keep your eye on the prize, man. Ishmael has his blessing. He's a wild man. All right, he's a wild man. He's living out his prophecy. All right, he worships stone. Christians worship wood, but we worship Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and that's what we have a focus on. So with that. To the next one, blessings to the elect and the one third, shalom.